Okay, so in this video, I'm going to capture the features of an Android television. Uh, would do a review of it, but more importantly, I'm going to cover the cool apps that are uh, capable of being installed on this television. Uh, the wide variety of apps so you can install, how you can do it, how you can manage it, what are the best practices that you should manage. Uh, so stay tuned. So uh, before I begin, I would ask you to subscribe to my channel if you want to stay tuned and remain updated, like my videos and share with your friends if you really like it. Okay, so this is how it starts. This is a typical Android television. This is Sony Android television. But if you even if you have a smart television, it will it will be not much of a difference. I've done quite a few videos where I've captured the differences and pros and cons between the Android television and a smart television. So this is the home screen of an Android television, and this is how a typical remote would look like. So you can have see. I mean, this is how you you get the inputs. Uh, there are button for the football mode then Netflix there is a separate button home button back button action menu and then this is typical multimedia keyboard uh, you can see in here okay moving back here uh, this is how a typical home screen of an Android television would look like once you've started your television okay so this this is no different but what I will do in this video I will try to capture uh, the, the apps that are uh, on, on this television how you can install them and how you can manage them as I said earlier okay so these are the featured apps so you can see Netflix you can see view view uh, BBC iPlayer uh, if you want I can quickly demo a few so that we've got into BBC iPlayer uh, it hasn't started yet but it will and this is how it reflects how long it takes for an app to load so not really great but uh, uh, once it loads uh, it's seamless so it won't create any issues uh, it allows me to sign in I don't want to do it at this point so I'll press the back button so I won't log in but you can see in here at the top you can select channels I will go to let's say BBC News and I should be able to see live news from start. Uh, I need to have a TV license and I have it. So there's no problem. Uh, do you want to start the news from the beginning or do you want to watch live news? I've, st I've selected uh, beginning and this is how it starts in here at one o'clock news uh, on a Thursday afternoon, right? So this is the BBC News app. I won't uh, just take in here, but come out and I'll tell you firstly how you would install any typical app. So if you have Android television, you would also have Google Play Store. So this is similar to a Play Store you would have on your uh, smart Android uh, mobile phone or a tablet. You go in here, you sign in with your Google ID, Gmail ID. And once you've done that, so I've already done that. So I have gone into my account. And once you've done that, you should be able to see a quite a great variety of uh, apps. Like this is a Facebook video app. You can install it and view video chats on your television with a webcam installed to it. You can attach it through a USB drive uh, and uh, or optical cable. It will all work. And similarly, AccuWeather is one of the apps uh, you can install. It will take your location uh, and uh, through GPS system. And once that is done, as you on your screen on your mobile you get the weather updates you will get the same on your television YouTube kids if you got kids this is a great app you should install it let me do that now uh, you click on that and there's an install button let's see how long does it take so I've got a 25 Mbps speed and I know usually get around 20 to 25 Mbps download speed with uh, 7 to 8 Mbps of upload speed so you can relate to how long normally uh, an app would take to install okay so you do kids is install on my machine there was an option to uninstall it if i need to uh, and this is how to look get started uh, okay it's asking for a code which i don't want to enter now but i can't go beyond if i don't enter it okay it's a wrong pin okay it's asking for a pin okay which i've set while i was setting my uh, television so anyways uh, I'm just exiting it now uh, you can see you I'm coming out now okay so this is how you'll install an app 
uh, this is a wide variety of apps that are available on the Google Play Store on your TV so any any Android app that is compatible with your television that will be uh, available to be downloaded like let me install download the cine trailer so this is an app uh, which would allow you to watch latest uh, movie uh, trailers so this is a 3 MB MB uh, space uh, it would take 3 MB and it's quick it was quick within three or four seconds it has been installed let me open it and let me quickly uh, play a trailer and you can see the timing i'm actually the, the main thing you need to notice is the lag time it takes to uh, play an app or play or do an next action so you can see so okay, anyways uh let me go out so this is one of the cool app you can uninstall it here you can see the description of the app uh what it is all about so that's that's useful top selling so there are some paid apps as well so mostly these are games so android tv is really really cool if you are into gaming so there are a great variety of uh, games that you can install uh, then you need to buy joysticks and other pads to play uh, control pads and all uh, controllers and all so once you have that you can play in lan uh, online uh, most importantly for these apps to be used you need to have a good uh, and fast and reliable more importantly uh, a, a, a broadband connection so VLC player that is one of the apps that you should have you, that would allow you to play uh, movies or movie files uh, if you have it on your USB drive or maybe on a shared LAN uh, folder location if you have it on your PC you would be able to uh, play it from there it would look for all, all, all the devices that are on the same uh, network uh, uh, this is how it, it looks the VLC player you get into it and it will look for all the videos at the moment there is no USB attached to it uh, but if you come down and see the browsing it will say whether you're looking for internal memory or local network and you should be able to if you if it if there are there is a movie file there on the local network you should be able to find it so this is one of the apps then uh, you got a few, Kodi is one of the apps that that's it's similar to the to uh, torrent once you've done the settings, which should take around five to ten minutes. Once you've done the settings, you should be able to see free movie series, movies, uh, uh, and uh, live streaming of the channels worldwide. Any channel you should be able to watch. So I've done a few, quite a few review videos of this uh, uh, Kodi app uh, with settings and demo and everything. You should be able to see that if you are uh, really keen to know more about it. So these are some more games uh, and animations. Uh, animated series for children, entertainment apps, Spotify, etc. Rakuten, Ted, again, a Facebook video, tune in. You should be able to see FM and radio and everything. Uh, so, this is how it is. But more imp importantly, uh, now I'll tell you how to manage them. Okay. So, you can install it from the Google Play Store, but to uninstall, to force stop. So, if, if you're running multiple apps uh, like your PC or your tab, or your and or your or your phone android phone uh, the your machine might get uh, frozen uh, or hanged so what you need to do is you go in there you look for the for the apps let's say youtube ads you go in there and you should be able to force stop it you remember on your t on your pc or on your laptop you have an option when you go to the task manager you can kill a process similarly you can uninstall from here or you can see the storage use or you can clear the cache from time to time whether you want some notifications to be pushed uh, when you're watching television or not things like that similarly for Kodi if you go in here it will tell you the storage space it's a bulky one 330 MB of internal shared memory used and then you can clear cache and also you can force stop it because this is a very bulky application and it quite a few times I need to go and force stop and kill the process so that my 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 Android TV can work uh, as normal so yup TV is one of the apps that I have installed and that allows me to watch Asian televisions and movies uh, but you need subscription for that okay coming back to the main screen I'll quickly show you another few more apps cine trailer YouTube kids you've seen you view is again also if you're watching uh, free view channel so how do you do that you need to do digital uh, tuning 
of your uh, TV through a cable that should be connected uh, through the TV point that is on your on should be on the wall of your TV uh, of your house or your or flat and there would be an antenna on top uh, of the building where you're living or on top of your house or if you have a satellite connection you go and do the satellite tuning so I've done the tuning already so it should show me the free view channels like the BBC news that I was watching earlier so this is it takes a it's taking more time than usual I don't know why it's a bit slow maybe because I've just installed a f quite a few apps that is the reason you need to kill the apps from time to time so you can change channels and in here and you see okay okay I've just muted it okay so this is how you change the channels okay and the, the, the information of the channels has been shown through UView app so you saw you view app on the on the home screen earlier okay and then YouTube you can log into YouTube and it will give you your recommendations to the channels that you have subscribed earlier so so again you can customize it uh, to what videos you would want to see uh, depending on your subscriptions and all uh, so I've customized it for myself and uh, the thing is you need to set your television on automatic updates uh, for the for the apps so that uh, these apps get keeps on getting updated from time to time but at the same time you also need to remember that uh, if uh, the speed is not great then in that case uh, I mean uh, these a lot of uh, processes would be happening in background and they, it would slow your TV uh, prime video ITV I've done review videos of all of these apps so uh, so tune into my channel uh, subscribe to it and post in your questions I've done review of this uh, internet browser which is the opera one you can download a few more as well okay so this is how the browser looks if it starts but it's, it's a lot slow on today uh, I don't know why but in a way uh, I think to troubleshoot if you have any issues the first thing you should do is to plug off the cable uh, and do a hard uh, uh, or, or a soft restart of your of your TV if if that doesn't solve the issue 90% will solve the issue if not then the only option you've got to do is to go back to your home button go to settings and then do a factory reset that should solve that would and then you will have to rebuild your television I've done videos on that on how, on how to reset your TV and do how to rebuild it so you go to storage and reset and then you click on this factory reset it will erase everything and then uh, bring your television to the uh, to the day it was when you bought it new okay so these about will tell you the Android version that is on your television so this is my device name and then it's Bravia 2015 model version 7 okay so it gives you all the information I haven't gone into uh, other uh, settings and all but I've, I have in different videos or you should be able to catch up on that so how the display settings can be set uh, if this is a 3d video a 3d TV and also in a 4k one how you do you do the channel setup digital one and all so I've done that on the various videos so just go into my channel the YouTube channel you should be able to see that these are the inputs so you can see there are HDMI 1, HDMI 2, 3, 4, AVI and screen mirroring option all in here so it's very becomes really easy to manage your TV if you have an Android phone as well and you can use it that as a remote and maybe just cast everything so if you use Google Chrome uh, you can cast the Google Chrome tab onto your television just as you cast your YouTube from your mobile to your TV you can also cast the Google Chrome browser tab onto your TV so whatever you see on your tele on your PC or on your uh, mobile phone, you'll be able to see on your television as well. So it's really cool uh, languages you can set keyboards and everything. That's that's quite normal. Location. So there would be a lot of apps who would want to see your location where you're located. Uh, uh, so you can use that usage and diagnostic if you want to send details to Android uh, to improve it uh, and all. So and you can have multiple Google sign-ins as well. So to maybe customize the, whatever you want to see uh, from time to time sounds illumination already these are all common so I'll come uh, cover a lot of other things on other videos so subscribe to my channel like it and post in your comments I'll be quite happy to answer them if I missed anything on this video uh, but I should have covered a lot of things on other videos so thanks for watching thank you very much bye bye